whole communities of people who are obviously African in origin had created marvelous galleries of ancient art depicting most vividly the life of the green Sahara as it must once have been. Greetings, Oiberia individuals. Welcome to another Africa podcast. This is episode 32, and we're going to talk about why Africa is great. Specifically, we're going to talk about Egyptian art, wonder of the world. Now, I've always been fond of Egyptian art since I was young. You know, I'd always dress up like the pharaohs. I remember one of my lecturers said I was talking rubbish, but I actually did that when I was younger. I dressed up like a pharaoh because I watched The Prince of Egypt. So, Egyptian art is fairly part of my inspirations and I come up with my designs. But this podcast, we're going to focus on Egyptian art, the meanings, and why it makes Africa great. So whenever we think of Egypt or its art, we always think of the pyramids. And the pyramids were crafted and designed by Imhotep, who was an Egyptian chancellor and also an architect who came up with this idea of a necropolis or cemetery to put dead pharaohs and kings and people who are part of the rich society of Egypt in there so they could have a place where they could be worshipped in a way as the Egyptians were seen as gods. This sculpture here is actually a sculpture of the pharaoh Menkuri, who was the pharaoh after Khafra, who the Finks was modelled after. And many of these sculptures were made with absolute correct perfect precision to show how perfect the pharaohs were because the Egyptians really loved eternal life and they believed that the pharaohs lived forever. And as you can see in that former picture, there was the bird of Osiris, a falcon at the back of his head, showing that the pharaohs were actually part god or god themselves, as they believed that the Egyptian pharaohs were gods. So that's why you'd see a lot of the sculptures from back in the days so nicely crafted. And this was 2000 years before even the Renaissance, 3000 years before the Renaissance. And you can clearly see that they knew how to craft a sculpture and create images and designs that were thousands and thousands of years ahead of its time. And the Egyptians also were fond of using composite views, which is basically showing the body, the front of the body, but showing the side of the face. That's why you see a lot of the Egyptian drawings in the tombs and the paintings they have a very odd proportion and angle when they're standing which is to show the composite view so that was kind of the style back then and they used a lot of linen and stone and different types of materials to paint on and to create the designs because the Egyptians always thought about the eternity of being remembered and I also agree with that because I believe that art is supposed to show a certain time in history it's just supposed to show a story and tell a story for example these Egyptian dancers professional dancers and if you actually go to parts of Africa you can actually see that people still dance that way you know so in a way it shows how connected we are to the past the pyramids were actually built using limestone and it's considered a wonder because nobody knows how it was created, how it was put together and it has eight sides the pyramids so and they're all symmetrical too so a lot of people and a lot of historians and even architects today just don't understand how the Egyptians managed to do that and that's another sign of African greatness this is something that architects today even can't figure out how they put it together they say that they had this many people who lifted up the rocks but no one can actually say how they knew how to make it so symmetrical and so on point in a way and because it was limestone that they used to build the pyramids it shimmered in the sun so it just shows you how beautiful Egypt was in that time 
and it still is beautiful but that time the civilization must have been incredible and many of the artwork was meant to last a very long time as they believed in eternity and not moving of being stable that's what they believed in while the Greeks believed in agility movement youth while the Egyptians believed in different things and they believed in eternity in the afterlife which is why a lot of the artwork still lasts to this day they made sure the bricks and layers of mud they used in limestone and different rocks and woods would last years and years after they had left the world and the artworks are great the Egyptians never really painted anything that depicted them losing in battle so as they believed that pictures could come to life and I believe that too I believe artwork is spiritual you know every single artwork which was created with emotional commitment and is trying to tell a story that actually happened would definitely have a spirit attached to it like I said no one would spend hundreds of millions of pounds on a painting just because another area of Egyptian art is that they really believed in telling a story not only that telling a story about their gods as well they believed that when you died that their gods would weigh how good you are in your lifetime and that would allow you to pass on or be devoured so you can tell that a lot of civilizations really believed in the afterlife but they had a very different take on it and they also like to paint a lot of the military conquest too as the largest figure in the painting was always the most important and that's why i love egypt art and this is just part one of the afro scott podcast about egyptian art i'd love to do more of these but by knowing more about african art and egyptian art it takes us closer to being full-fledged afro scots As it happens, modern science has given us a vast fund of new and reliable knowledge which shows that the black peoples do indeed have a history of their own, as rich and strange, as long and sometimes surprising as any major branch of the human family.